Greetings, M Squared here, and today we're going to talk about solving systems of linear inequalities. So for our purposes, although you can have more than two, for our purposes, a system of linear inequalities is going to be made up of two linear inequalities. And the solution is going to be all of the points, all of the ordered pairs, that make both of the inequalities true. So that's our solution. How we're going to do that is we are going to, first of all, we're going to look at our less than or greater than. So we're going to decide if it's solid, right? We have these for solid and these for dashed. We're going to graph the lines. We're going to do it in slope intercept form where we have, where we start with our y intercept and then we use our slope to find more points. We're going to remember that if it's one of these, we shade below the line, and if it's a greater than or equal to or greater than, we shade above the line. And we're going to remember that happens only when y is alone, so when we have it in y equals mx plus b form. That's the only way we're going to do the below and the above. Otherwise, it sometimes doesn't work. Um, so if we remember how to shade it, then we don't have to choose a point. But I always like to choose a point just to, to check, OK? We're going to mark our solution clearly. So here we go. We have a set of a system of equations, of inequalities, I should say. So these are already in y equals mx plus b form. So I am going, well, I like to do different colors. So I'm going to circle this one in blue because I'm going to shade, I'm going to shade and I'm going to um, graph that in blue. So I know my slope is 1. Remember, that's 1 over 1. So I'm going to go up one, right one, because it's positive. And my y-intercept is 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my line, and I'm going to, at 2, I'm going to make a little dot, because that's my y-intercept. And I'm going to use my slope, my up one over one, to graph that. Now, because it's a greater than, it's dashed. And because it's not doesn't have an equal sign, oh. That's why it's dashed. But because it's greater than, I know I'm shading above that line. So I'm going to get my ruler, and I'm going to make it dash. So sometimes I just go up a little bit, and I just don't want to mess it up too much. Sometimes <laughs> my ruler gets away from me. So I like to make a couple more dots there if I didn't already. And so it's greater than, so I know I would shade this way. OK. Greater than, shade above the line. Now I'm going to come in and do my second line do that orange. So my y-intercept and my slope. My slope is negative 2 over 1. That means I'm going to go down to right 1, down to right 1 to find my points. And my y-intercept is 1. So I'm going to go up 1. I'm going to make a little dot. That's the first point on my line. Then I'm going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Notice my slope is going down from left to right. That means it's negative. Remember, you can also, instead of going down 2 and over 1, you could also go up two and left one, as long as one of those either is down or left to get that negative. It's a solid line because of that equal or equals two, right? So we're going to make a solid line. And it's greater than, so we're going to shade above. So if this is my negative sl slope, above is this way. So I'm going to gently do this, and then I'm going to show you what the solution set actually is. So the blue is for the blue line, shaded. The orange is for the other. But together, the solution set is what bounds the two, where they're shaded. So I'm going to, sometimes I put a big S there, because that's my answer. That part is the solution set. So this part works for the blue. This part works for the orange. This part works for both. So I could always test a point in this region to see if it works for both. Let me do that right here. So I'm just going to say. 0, 6. So I'm going to test point 0, 6. And how I do that is I take the first equation and I put the x in for x and the y in for y because that's my x and y. So I'm going to say y is greater than 0 plus 2. Is that true? Is 6 greater than 2? Yes. Check. That one works. Then over here, 6 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 1. Is that true? 6 is greater than or equal to 1? Yep. So. There you go. That is the first one. We're going to do a couple more. Uh, I think, yeah, one more, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, actually um, write the equations from the inequality. So you'll notice that this one isn't, does, isn't in slope-intercept form. It's in standard form. So I'm going to take this down here, and I'm going to get it 
in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I get 3y is less than negative 2x plus 5. I put the x first because I like it to be in slope-intercept form. I'm dividing by 3. So remember that if I was ever to divide by a negative, if there had been a minus sign right there, I would have to switch the inequality sign, but only when I divide or multiply by a negative. So I'm safe right here. I don't have to do that switcheroo. Just a reminder of that. So this one didn't uh, turn out super pretty, did it? We get a 5 thirds, but that's okay. We're going to graph that y-intercept. So we're going to go up 5 thirds. So we're going to go 3 thirds and 6 thirds. 5 thirds is like 2 thirds of the way between 1 and 2. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go down 2. I'm going to color that one orange. Down 2, right 3. So it's a little bit tricky because you don't actually hit the line. So I'm going down 2 and right 3, and then down 2 and right 3, etc. I can also go up 2 and left 3 because so my slope was negative. So it's a less than, so that's a dashed line. Also, less than tells us to shade on which side of the line. Who remembers? Less than when y is alone. Remember, it's when y is alone, it tells us to shade below. So we're going to shade below the line. Alrighty, now the other one's already in slope intercept form, so here we go. Y intercept is at negative 3, so I'm going to go down to negative 3. The slope is 2 over 1, so I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and I'm going to do that a few times. Go backwards if I want, and it's a solid line because of that or equal to. And it says greater than, so that means I shade above the line. Right? Shading above the line. And now the part where the orange and blue mix is my solution set. So I'm going to kind of darken that in, and then sometimes I put this little S guy there. So that means that is my solution set for this inequality. And again, I can test a point. If I want to test a point, I like to test points on the axes because it just makes it easier. So I don't know. Let's, I think that's negative 4, 0. It's uh, right in there. So if I test that point, I get a negative, I get 0 is greater than negative 8 minus 3. And I don't really have to figure that out. 0 is always bigger than the negative expression, so that's going to be negative, so that checks. Up here, I have negative 8 plus 0 is less than 5, and again, a negative number is less than 5. So, yep, that point was in my solution set, so I'm pretty confident that I got that correct. Okay, we're going to transition now. We're going to write so now you'll see that this is my solution set because that's the blue and that's the yellow and it's kind of the greenish color. So I need to know how I would uh, write these two lines and also less than or greater than so that I get this as the solution set. So I'm going to take my red line first. Because it's dashed and because it was shaded below, I know it's a y is less than because it was below the line and dashed. Then I look for my y-intercept, which is 3, so I know eventually I'm going to have a plus 3 over there. And then I work with my slope. It looks like I go up 2 over 1, and I just do it a couple times to make sure. Yep, it looks like my slope is 2, so there is the red line, the red dashed line. Now this one is shaded above the line, so I know it's a y is greater than. And because it's a solid line, I know that there's an or equal to. I know that the y-intercept is 4, so I'm going to have a plus 4 over there. And then I look at the slope. It looks like up 1, left 1, up 1, left 1. Well, up 1, left 1 is a 1 over negative 1. That means I'm going to have a negative x. If you want to put a negative 1x, that's OK, too. It doesn't really matter. But now, this is the system that I see there. And you could always test a point if you wanted to. But that's how you do it. So this one over here is similar, but they're asking us, they didn't shade anything. So they're asking us, if these two points were part of this solution set, what would the inequalities be? So the first thing I do is I say, well, where are those points? 1, 2, there's one point. 2, 4, there's my other one. So you can see now that they want us to have this as our solution set, right in here. So that helps me now, because then I would know the red line was shaded above, the blue line was shaded above, so I know that they're both greater thans. So I'm going to take the dashed line first. So I know it's a y is greater than, because it was above the line that that was shaded. And then my y-intercept is 2. 
So I have a plus 2, and my slope looks like it's negative 1, down 1, left 1, I mean, down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. Looks like that's happening, so that's again a negative x, or you could say the negative 1x if you wanted to. So that's the blue line. Now I'm going to go for this one. Again, it was shaded above the line, not below, so that's going to be a greater than. It's a solid, so it's greater than or equal to. This time my y-intercept is negative 3, so I'm going to have a minus 3. And then what's the slope? Let's see, up 1 over, let's see, I'm trying to look, not there, not there, not there. It looks like right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. So it looks like negative, no, sorry, positive, 5 halves, because I went up 5 and right 2. So those are both up is positive and right is positive. And so that would be the system of inequalities for that. So hopefully you will be able to graph these inequalities and write these inequalities. And good luck with that. M squared, sign